Hello, and in this video we're going to be studying how to solve an equation using a graphing calculator by looking at the graph. So there are basically two methods for this. There's two methods to solving using a, um, a graphing calculator. We can either, um, um, if the equation's set equal to zero, we can graph it and look for the zero function or where the x-intercepts are. So let's take a look at this example right here and work that out. So we're going to turn our calculator on, make sure none of the plots are turned on, um, clear out all the other graphs that are in there. Uh, we're going to type this in, uh, 3x to the fourth power minus x to the third power uh, plus 4x to the second power. I'm going to use this key here for x is second minus 5. Um, we're going to look at our window. Our window is set to the standard. If your window you want to get to that, you can hit zoom and number 6. That'll take you to the standard window. We'll take a look at this graph. It looks like there might only be two solutions here. It doesn't look like it comes back down. Um, if we look at a table uh, of this Thing. Let's just say the table will go by tens here, just to see how big these might go. Look at the table. All right, and it looks like these are just going up and up and up. They're just getting bigger. This E means there's six decimal places. We can look at um, how big these graphs get. It looks like that's getting very big. It's getting bigger and bigger. It's not coming back down. And if we go the other way, it's also getting bigger and bigger. So it looks like there's only two places where it crosses. I'm pushing the graph button again. It looks like I can see the two places right here and right here. Um, let's do a little zoom in. I, I haven't shown you this zoom before, but there's a zoom decimal, number four, to get you a little closer. And it ha and it's nice for tracing purposes. We just need to see those two, so I zoomed in a little bit closer by using zoom decimal. All right, so we're going to try to look at this by using our zero function. So you hit second calculate to find the zero function, which is number two here. You wish enter. We go through the three steps again. We find the left bound. Right now we're at zero, so we want to go. I want to go here. It looks like it's a little bit less than. Um, negative 1. So we're at negative 0.9 and we're above the thing. Now that's to the left of the bound, so I'm going to push enter. Then we're going to go right until it crosses, well it just looks like it already crossed here. So we're going to push enter and then I'm going to, since it's only one apart there, I'm just going to push enter again on our guess. And so for me it looks like that solution for x uh, is going to be approximately, it's not going to be an exact solution, it's going to be approximately negative 0.85. Um, to two decimal places. Okay, looking at this graph. Now we're going to do the same thing, find the other point. I bet it's, it looks like it has some symmetry to this. This looks like it has symmetry and we're going to check that. See if we get the same exact answer on the other side. So we're going to calculate, second calculate, um, our zero. We're going to move our cursor to the right. On this one, the left bound is below because the left is lower. So we're going to go there, it's lower, left bound, hit enter. Make sure we cross the intersection. If there's a right bound, we're going to push enter. And we're going to hit enter one more time for guess and it doesn't have symmetry because it's a different value on either side. So our other x value here is going to be approximately um, 0 0.94, 0 0.94. Okay, so that's to two decimal places we found the solutions to that. So if we put in negative 0.85 in for x here, 
we should get a value that's close to that value. So let's let's just double check that by using our table. So second table set. Remember we can make it we can ask it for solutions. So we're going to check to see how close we are by asking it for solutions. We're going to type this in and we're going to check to see if it's close to zero. Negative point eight five. It should be close to zero for y, which is it is. It's relatively close to zero. Um, the more decimal places we hold, the closer we will be to zero. And push enter. So both those values are close to zero. So um, we're, um, those two would be rounded values. Those would be my answers for the first set. So we just use our intercept our x-intercept or zero function under calculate. Okay, that's how we do the first method. That's if it's equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, we can just stick it in there and then find the zero value because that's what it's equal to. All right, now the second method here is to put the left-hand side, that's this part of the graph, into y1 and the right-hand side, which is this side of the graph, into y2 and find the intersection of the two. And that's also found here, right here, under calculate, that's number five. So we can also do that. You could also take this equation and solve it for zero and use method one. So you could always use method one if you want by solving it for zero, moving these values to the left or these values to the right and setting one side equal to zero. But let's just show you the second method. So we'll clear this out. So y1 is going to be negative three x to the fourth plus 8x squared, uh, 8x squared, and then y2 is going to be 2x plus 9. And then we're going to zoom out because we were zoomed in, so we're going to zoom to our standard window, that's 6. So I just like to start at the normal standard window. So that's the first graph, here's the second graph. Well. In this case, um, there is no intersection points, so there would be no solution. All right, so in this one, we would write no solution. No solution doesn't intersect. Okay, so no solution to this one. So let's let's change it a little bit and see if we had a solution. So if we took this equation and we just change this to minus nine instead of positive nine, I think if we move the line down a little bit by moving the intercept to negative, that we would get a solution. So if we look at this now, just to see if we had a solution, we would get we would get two solutions. So we would one here and one down here. So what we would have to do is we would have to change our window, make the y value um, smaller, like negative 20, so that we could see the other intersection. We'll go by two so there's not cramping all of those markers. So now we can see the two intersection points right there and right here. So if we change this to minus, so if I go through and I just put a minus here, so if I X this out and change this to minus, and then there's going to be a solution. is me on my keyboard. My solutions here are going to be x equal or approximately. They're not going to be exactly equal. They're going to be approximately equal because there's not going to be an exact answer. I don't believe in this case. Say they're going to be approximately equal to. And then we just need to do the intersect thing here. So no solution on original.
So there, there's no solution on the original problem. But we're just trying to practice uh, to see how we would do it if we had a solution. So now it's crossing twice. So we're going to hit two solutions here. We'd hit second calculate. Make sure I'm in the second calculate. Um, intersect is number five, so we click on number five. First curve, we hit enter. Second curve, we hit enter. So that we select y1 for the first curve, y2 for the second curve. We move down to where we think the first intersection is, and we hit enter. So our first value is going to be negative nine, negative, negative 1.95. 1 1.95. Is going to be our approximately answer if this was a minus instead of a plus. And our second solution using this method um, number five for intersect first curve is y1 push enter second curve is y2 push enter scroll to the other intersection point and hit enter and that'd be 1.80 would be our other answer one point eight zero so two solutions if this was 2x minus 9 we get two solutions it's 2x plus 9 which was the original one there are no solutions because it didn't cross and if we tried to use intersect on not crossing it would give us an error so that's what would occur so um, this is how we would solve equations using a graph using a graphing calculator so if you have any questions send me an email good luck with this homework